For some wildlife, it's not human hunters that pose the biggest threat, but non-native animal species that humans have introduced to the islands. There are three species of rock iguana found in the Bahamas. For these magnificent lizards, even a small household pet can create a significant threat. The iguanas that occur in the Bahamas occur nowhere else, and so really they are a national treasure. Some of the ranges of certain types of iguanas are only found naturally on one or two tiny, tiny little islands, and so any type of cat or dog that's brought to the island or any type of negative development that happens can really cause the complete extinction of an entire type of iguana. Rock iguanas can grow to four feet in length. They are a popular attraction for ecotourists, but human contact can create challenges for both the iguanas and the people who come to see them. All iguanas in general, they're vegetarians, and so they only eat fruits, flowers, and leaves. They're not aggressive towards people at all. However, if people do come to the islands to feed them, then sometimes they might mistake a finger or a painted toenail as a piece of fruit. And so they can bite in that regard, but it's not out of being aggressive at all. When tourists come to these islands, oftentimes they're fed inappropriate items, such as cake, ground beef, potato chips. And these animals, because they typically eat fruits, flowers, and leaves, this could be having a long-term detrimental impact. By studying the effects of human interaction, researchers hope to develop successful conservation strategies. Their aim is to protect the iguanas while still encouraging people from around the world to come and experience them. Tourism in the Bahamas is extremely important and it can be a benefit to the iguanas if people come to these islands and they enjoy the iguanas and they see that they have value and they can be educated. As long as it's managed correctly and there are populations that are set aside that are pristine and not being visited and not being fed, then I think there can be a happy balance between tourism and healthy iguana populations. Once they become adults, these iguanas have no natural predators. But for the small populations that remain on the islands, it is vital to minimize any human-related threats. These species are endangered or they're critically endangered. And if they disappear from these islands, especially from the Bahamas, they're gone from the face of the earth. 